Hi guys, Leah from Smart and Snazzy here. I wanted to share this awesome tip with you guys. Now, I know that a lot of you, I'm assuming, uh, have the issue where you have this beautiful compact uh, powder or blush or highlighter or eyeshadow or, okay, insert your favorite compacted pressed powder makeup substance that when you're getting ready and it just inevitably slips out of your hands, ricochets off the counter and possibly off of like your leg and ends up on the floor. And what happens when you open it up on the floor? It is cracked up like this. Well, I am going to show you how we can fix it without having to leave it like this and get all the messy like particles all over your drawer or whatever it is that you keep your makeup in um, or you may just throw it away like a lot of people do um, but instead I'm going to show you how to fix this so that it's as good as new. Ready? Okay so here's what we're going to need. Your broken makeup, a Ziploc bag, um, a piece of silverware or something with a blunt side that you can use. Don't worry, it's not going to get dirty. A tissue. Some rubbing alcohol. Now the higher content, the better. Um, all I have laying around is 50% content. All that means is it's going to take longer to evaporate. And finally, last but not least, a quarter. So what do all these objects have in common? This is how we're going to fix our makeup. First, what we want to do is open the Ziploc baggie, take your compact, and carefully and gently slide it in down to like a corner. So you're going to take this and use that to break up the bigger pieces into a powder. So what we're doing is we are even further, further destroying our makeup that we are trying to fix. Makes tons of sense, doesn't it? So if you'll see, it's pretty fine. Um, there are some bigger chunks over here, but I think that's just it sticking. So, so now we're gonna take it out of the bag. Be very careful. You don't wanna make a mess. Just set it down on top of the bag. Fill the tissue into a square like this. Put the quarter in the center and bring up all the sides so that we have this flat surface here and then kind of like twist it. So it's like a stamper almost, right? Here's the handle and we're going to be using this to shape the compact back again. So now take your rubbing alcohol. If you have like a, a medicine dropper or something, that would be ideal, but you don't necessarily need one if you don't have one. Um, I'm just pouring it into the little cap. And what you want to do is pour it a little bit at a time into your compact. Now that's not enough. But if you're doing an eyeshadow, that would be more than enough. So let's start. So what you're going to do is press. You want to press it in. Basically what we're doing is creating a paste with the alcohol and the powder. And so you can tell I don't have enough alcohol because it's lifting. And they're not talking the good kind of alcohol, ladies. Unfortunately, we're not talking vodka. Um, I spilled the alcohol. Thank God we're not talking vodka, right? If it gets that you put in too much, that's okay. If you have too much rubbing alcohol in here, like I do, just try to spread it out. But the best part is that since it evaporates so quickly, you can come back in about an hour and it'll be ready to be reshapen again. So we're going to let this sit for a little while just to let some of the alcohol evaporate off the top. As you can see, it's kind of wet. 
<laughs> I poured a little too much in. So I'm gonna let it evaporate for about a half hour and then I'm gonna go back to the stamping process. Okay, so now enough alcohol has evaporated that we can resume our stamping which is basically just shaping this compact, the powder, back into the compact. So you'll have these little circle rings from the shape of the quarter, unless you can find like a perfectly shaped object, maybe like the bottom of a cup or something that fits into your compact. But I mean, after the first couple of uses, these little circles will be gone, right? So that's all I'm doing is just going around and obsessively compulsively <laughs> stamping it, making sure to get like all the edges in uh, and that's it. What we're going to do now is just leave it alone and let it dry overnight or at least for a couple of hours just to let, now when I say let it dry, all we're doing is letting the alcohol evaporate from it and it'll be good as new. So, while this one is drying, I'm going to get to work fixing this eyeshadow. So now you can see that these powders are now as good as new. The consistency is back to where it should be. And yeah, you have some ugly little ridges on the top from where we pressed. But... It's now back to pretty much its original state, and you can use it just like you did before. So now instead of throwing those broken compacts away, you've got your brand new compact back. I hope this is the tip that you all love and will put to good use. Let me know if you do and how it works out for you. Bye!